Hello everyone. Welcome to the Dynamic Traffic Light Management System. This project aims to solve the city traffic jam problem by reducing the amount of time vehicles have to wait on a traffic light using power of reinforcement. So let's begin the tutorial. In order to get the code, go to the traffic light management system repository that is nomuslave slash traffic light management system. Go to the code, download the zip file, extract the zip file and open the zip file in your favorite text editor. So you can see there are various folders here. Now, all the steps to create maps and training model are provided in the GitHub repository. So we will follow these steps. So let us go to the steps. Oh, yeah, the, steps. the first step is to download all the requirement and download Sumo GUI. So Sumo is a library, open source library, which allows us to create maps and to train uh, and to run the simulation, various traffic simulation. So as I have already downloaded all the requirements and I already have the Sumo GUI, I will skip this step. step. Now the next step is to create network. In order to create network, we will use Sumo. Go to the CMD. Let's go to CMD and type net edit. Net edit edit. So it will open a net edit tool. Go to the files, new network. It is taking some time to load the network. Uh, go to the grid. Go to the edge. Now, yes, you can see you can easily create various roads, crossings. Now, as I've already created a network, I will not waste time creating a new one. Open network, create this one city1.net.xml. It is an XML file. Open. As you can see, it is a pretty complicated network. And you can see there are five traffic light in this network. Now we will train our model on this network. One thing to note is that we need to save this network in this maps folder. And now let us go to the next step. Next step is to create a route file. Route file is basically our vehicles and starting point and destination point for those vehicles. So let us copy this code. Uh, let us go to maps and uh, okay paste it now we need to set our uh, network file city1 and our root file which we will also call city1 and then e is the number of time steps for the network for the simulation press enter now it will take some time and as you can see in the maps folder it has created city1 network and city1 route file now let us go to the next step next step is to set the configuration file is to tell the sumo where our network file and where is our route file so as you can see in the configuration file which is already present in the folder that i have already set the city1 uh, route file and city1 network file so no need to do that and let us go to let us go to what and now let us go to the next step next step is the main step is to create uh, train our model on this uh, map so this is the command to train the model we will use train.py file dash dash train tells the train.py file that uh, we need to uh, go to the training mode minus e is for the number of epochs that number of time this simulation will run minus m uh, and model name will save the model name in the models folder Minus S will, will state the number of time steps for the simulation, which is fine. Let us copy this code. Paste in the command prompt. Now let us set our epochs to 30. Uh, and model name to model city 1 test. And let us skip the steps uh, 500 and uh, press enter. As soon as you press enter, it will start the simulation in the background and start training the model. So it takes some time to train the model, about 10 minutes. So see you after the training. As you can see, the training is completed and uh, it shows the graph. So this uh, on the y-axis, the graph shows the total time the vehicles have to wait on the traffic signal. And uh, uh, x-axis is basically the number of time the simulation ran. 
So as you can see, initially uh, total time waiting time of the vehicles was pretty high, and as the model learned, uh, the total time, the total waiting time uh, of the overall uh, overall simulation reduced. So now let us go to the next step, and that is uh, running our train model on the simulation. So in order to do that, uh, let us first close this and. Uh, so basically we need to remove this train and uh, box uh, okay and then press enter as we press enter it will open a GUI and open our network now set a delay go to the real world scenario and then press the play button to run the network now as you can see let us speed up the network a bit uh, okay as you can see that it is making decisions uh, let us speed it up okay as you can see it is not allowing many vehicles to wait on the line and reducing the traffic jams basically so yeah it looks good okay simulation ended close all the files now we also trained our network on a map of Gandhinagar so here is the map of Gandhinagar as you can see and the total and the graph of that map is shown here as you can see initially it was quite high and that it reduced the uh, it, so model works pretty well on the complicated maps as well now we also connected uh, our simulation to Arduino so now we will show the demo of Arduino live demo of Arduino Uh, so that was the end of our tutorial. You can download the code from the GitHub repository and train various models on various maps. Thank you.